Hey, I'm Jessica Lowndes, and you're behind the scenes of my Toro Women photo shoot. Today's shoot was really fun. The whole vibe is kind of this vintage, ethereal, voyeurism, <laughs> sort of Mad Men-esque vibe. And the whole feel is like you're watching someone in their own apartment doing their own thing, and they have no idea that someone's watching them. So it's, it's very sexy and cool. I was at the Fairmont Pacific Rim, right on the water, and it feels so good to be back in Vancouver, my hometown. The clothes were gorgeous. <laughs> A lot of amazing like sheer tops and lingerie bottoms. Um, Rocking kind of a lingerie top right now, but it's kind of got a vintage vibe, which just makes it very classic and elegant, which I love. My personal fashion style would be feminine chic, I guess. I like to be comfortable, and I like sticking with the classics, but I also like taking a risk. <laughs> I don't usually <laughs> walk around just in a bra, um, but in my home I do, and I love lingerie. I kind of have an addiction to lingerie, and I love kind of the whole 1940s vibe, and I also love like the, the Alexander McQueen dress was gorgeous. That white gown and that white number was perfectly, like, that was my style. I've been comfortable in front of a camera since I was three years old. I, it's like I don't even know it's there, and I think that's why I'm able to act, and I've gotten so used to kind of just putting up that fourth wall and, and ignoring it, but I don't know, I, I just am very like confident, and, and I love it. <laughs> I definitely was going into character today, and it was fun. It was, it was a different shoot, because I was, kind of got to do my own thing as the camera was like lurking behind furniture following me around, which was fun. Sexiest people in the world is a tough it's a tough one. I think Leonard Cohen is super sexy. I'm a musician and I'm constantly writing poetry and lyrics and I find him super inspiring. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know, if you can be like in your 70s and rock a fedora and still be that hot, it's a good thing. Dream role. I just hope to be doing what I love. So I, I don't know, like I love the dramatic stuff. I would love to do a period piece. Uh, I like comedies. <laughs> it would be a break from all the crying scenes that I did on 90210. So yeah, I just, I think just working would be a dream in itself. Music has just been a love of mine since I could speak, and I've been singing since I was three and writing music since I was nine. So now that I'm finished with the show, like I have so much more time to be back in the studio writing and recording, and I don't know, it's just like the most amazing feeling ever. It's my way of expressing myself, and it's the best therapy, and I find writing very therapeutic. Three random things about me. Uh, I have the biggest sweet tooth on the planet. I am obsessed with anything with frosting. Red velvet cake is my favorite. I like to paint. Not a lot of people know that, but I am I always like making people gifts and I'm super artsy like that and it's just, it's like another creative outlet. And I'm from Vancouver. Not a lot of people know that I'm a fellow Canadian and I grew up right here on Canadian soil and it feels really, really nice to be working in my hometown. <laughs>